In this video, we're going to go over the parts of a microscope in preparation for the tissue identification lab. So in this class, you'll be using a cordless microscope. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn on the power. So this dial right here is the power button, but it also serves as the diaphragm. So when you turn the power on, you can control the intensity of light that appears through your field. Next is the eyepiece. The eyepiece has a magnification of 10 times, 10 power, followed by the objective lens, which is on the turret. In order to change the objective lenses, you simply have to turn the turret. And there are three types of objective lenses. The first objective lens is the shorter objective lens, and it's color-coded red. This is low power, and it has a magnification of four times. The next objective lens is medium power and it's yellow, and it has a magnification of 10 times. And the last objective lens is high power, and it's color-coded blue, and it has a magnification of 40 times. To find the total magnification of a specimen uh, in your slide, you have to multiply the eyepiece times the objective lens. Now, once you have a specimen in place, on the stage, which is this structure right here, then you can begin to use these two dials. The bigger dial is the course adjustment knob. The course adjustment knob helps you focus under low and medium power. The fine adjustment knob is to only be used under high power. Never use the course adjustment knob under high power. You'll crack the lens and then you'll have to pay for it. When you're ready to begin looking for specimens, always begin your search under low power. Obtain your slide, place your slide onto the stage, and secure it with this clip. In order to place your slide, you'll have to use this handle. There are two knobs that are associated with finding your specimen. One knob controls left and right. The other knob controls up and back. You will use these two knobs to center your specimen in your field. Once you have your image centered in the field, beginning under low power and using the course adjustment knob, find the specimen. Once you've identified the specimen and it is clear in your eyepiece, go ahead and switch to medium power. Again, use the course adjustment knob to sharpen the image in your eyepiece. Once you have the image focused, go ahead and switch to high power. Now under high power, use the fine adjustment knob to fine tune your image so that it is perfectly clear. Once you have found your image, you will then be asked to go ahead and take a picture of the image through your eyepiece.